Hey guys, Kevin here. Um, just wanted to give you a quick update on uh, one of the steps that I'm going through right now with uh, protecting the styrofoam component of the insulated concrete forms for the foundation on the chicken coop greenhouse area. Um, the styrofoam rigid rigid insulation board that's exposed to the sun UV light's going to break it down over time and uh, if we have chickens around one second <laughs> couple of little angels uh, and you see this fencing this premier one uh, fencing that I've got so uh, this last fall after I got the concrete pad poured uh, we did some quick backfilling around the uh, the perimeter of the building and uh, in this area the chicken coop area I didn't put any vapor barrier down up against the uh, the styrofoam uh, I wasn't concerned about moisture getting inside it's all rock inside of there and fill uh, it's the elevation the wall level the the fill level is going to come up much higher uh, I'll grade this off and it'll be a slope away from the building. However, the insulation uh, is also uh, very uh, appealing to chickens. They will peck at this insulation and just poke holes right through it. So we want to cover it up and get it protected from UV light and from uh, the, the chickens. And I could use this fencing to help protect some of the uh, forest areas, some of the trees that I planted. Uh, so it'd be great if I could get it away from uh, this construction site. So what I've chosen to use as a protection is similar to what I used uh, back to over 30 years ago uh, on the house. So the insulation that's below grade here is uh, has this aluminum that I'm in the process of digging out around the perimeter so I can put uh, the aluminum fascia up against the styrofoam and I'm not using any adhesives I don't want any chemical reactions going on but I'm just going ahead and cutting the aluminum I don't know how well this is going to show up and bending it and putting it over the uh, sill plate putting it under the sill plate rather and that's a doorway area and uh, this remember this will be filled at a higher, uh, fill, filled up, the elevate, the grade level will be raised, so that it isn't so, so much of an issue. I decided to do this before I actually get to uh, building and, and raising the walls because I'll be going in and out of the walls, and when it's just one person, it's a good way of getting injured, especially with some of my old injuries. Uh, um, I can really flare those up, and and I can't afford to get injured inside of this area where the, where the pecking and scratching area I'll, I'll probably bring up some wood mulch in that area uh, so that I have a more of a level surface so it's trying to really think about safety here trying to protect the equipment all this styrofoam is going to get broken down by uh, by the chickens or the UV light so and here's the area in the greenhouse and you can see I've got the vapor barrier and that's just polyethylene double layer going down to the level uh, through the, the at the level of the footer with a four inch perforated drain pipe number two stone surrounding the area and that perimeter drain pipe goes into this pond uh, which is also our geothermal cooling loop comes back from there so uh, our perimeter drain pipe, I don't know if we can see it down there. There's a perimeter drain pipe right there where it exits into, into the pond for anything that gathers around the greenhouse itself. Just much more cost effective than some of the uh, materials that are commonly used uh, for insulated concrete forms and, and basements. Okay, well that's it. Uh, I'll probably take some other shots as I progress so you can see what, what it's going to look like and we'll take it from there.
Hey folks, Kevin here. Uh, it's July 9th, 2014. Uh, yesterday is when I was shooting the video uh, and discussing forming these aluminum pieces of flashing to cover the insulate the styrofoam that's part of the insulated concrete forms. So uh, I dug that out yesterday, got the uh, the aluminum sections cut and folded, bent cr appropriately, got it fitted up underneath the sill and backfilled as much as I could uh, before the storm came. And yesterday we did have a storm. And right after I finished filming this initial part, I, I went out back to check on my bees, and it was still morning, of course. Uh, and there was a large swarm there, so I had to deal with that yesterday morning. And you can actually see the water line where the uh, uh, seven minutes of heavy downpour <laughs> came yesterday. Uh, I think we had 0.46 inches of rain in, se in about seven minutes. So anyways, got this, the, these sections on before the storm came, and now I've got to do some backfill uh, up against this to help secure it and this should protect the insulated concrete form uh, the styrofoam from degradation by chickens pecking at it and from uh, UV light exposure as well. I still have the rest of the area uh, to do as well but I could get the fence down that I need to use for uh, some of the trees in the food forest and get this done. And uh, the reason why there's uh, the sill plate uh, using two by six walls here, the reason why there's uh, three inches of aluminum that you see sticking out because that's going to be the thickness of the insulation uh, on the two by six walls that are going up. So it's a continuous, almost non-interrupted uh, insulation uh, and air barrier uh, for the building. Okay, just wanted to give you that uh, update on, on the greenhouse. Take care. If you have any questions, please uh, uh, write it below or contact me uh, through whichever means and uh, feel free to comment. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye now.